welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here thank you for clicking on this video so today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how I curl and style my short hair I chopped it back at like the end of November beginning of December so I've had a good bit of time to learn how to style and curl my short hair it's very different from when I have long hair so took me a while to get used to how to style it and things like that so figured this would be a really helpful video for those of you who have short hair who recently chopped it whatever the case may be so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get your hair from looking like this to this and if you want to see what it looks like and how I achieved this look then let's go ahead and get started so before we get started I figured I'd go over a few little products that I use I don't put a lot of product in my hair just because I have more fine hair um, the one thing I will use is a dry shampoo I've been using the Kristen S style reviving dry shampoo I really really like this stuff it's so good you can get it at Target and every now and then if I'm like going out and I have like an event or something I will use a little bit of texture spray just to kind of help keep my hair in place and give it a little more volume things like that but on a day-to-day -day basis the only product that I really use on my hair is dry shampoo and then towards the end of like before I rewash my hair when it looks you know really dull from all the dry shampoo I put in it I'll use a shine spray um, I don't have it with me right now because I'm at Thomas's house but that is what I will use on a regular basis as well I'll have the one that I use linked below you can get it at Ulta um, and I want to say it's like $20 or something like that so it's really good um, as far as the tools that I use go um, I just use a good old regular hairbrush this one's a hot tools hairbrush got it at Walgreens and I use the bedhead curling wand this orange one I think this is like a one inch barrel um, maybe a, yeah maybe one and a half or one inch I'm pretty sure it's one inch and then I also use a straightener from time to time I've been trying to teach myself how to curl my hair with a straightener it's not going that great but um, after I curl my hair you'll see I kind of like to straighten out the ends sometimes if I feel like it looks too curly so for my straightener I have the Paul Mitchell Neuro straightener this thing I've had gosh for five six years and it's still I mean it's held on so well first thing I do is I will part my hair I will part my hair in half I'll tie off one section the scrunchie hair tie whatever and on the side that I'm about to curl I will just take this top section of my hair and clip it up so we'll curl our hair in basically four sections one two and then we'll do the same thing on this side so it'll be four total sections get started with this little section of like my bangs and shorter baby hairs for this I just wrap around once hold it and then I'll wrap it around again and hold it for like maybe five seconds as you can see it doesn't take long and then I'll just take my fingers and twist it so the curl holds some of your curls might be super curly and that's okay because at the end once it sets we'll brush it out and it'll give it that more like beachy wave look so don't freak out if your curls are like really tight at the beginning then moving on I'll take sections about this big like I said I have pretty fine hair and it is a little bit on the thinner side so I don't take super thick sections um, because then it'll look like I just have like one curl on my head. I'll wrap my hair around the curling iron and I'll leave out about an inch to an inch and a half at the bottom for the bottom section just so it gives it more of that beach wave when I brush it out. I'll hold it for about 10 or 15 seconds. And I also hold the curling iron down like this or at an angle. I never hold it like this because I feel like when I brush it out, it gives it those longer waves. But we will again twist with our finger 
and move on to the next section i also like to switch up how thick um of sections i'm choosing sometimes i'll take a little bit less hair sometimes i'll take a little bit more just to give different size curls throughout my hair So this is what the bottom section will look like and I don't brush it out just yet. I will kind of take my fingers and run it through um, and then what I'll do before I move on to the next section is I'll go more towards the top and I'll take smaller pieces of hair. You can see it has been curled but I will take smaller sections and then I'll just run it over and I'll hold for like five to ten seconds just to kind of separate those curls to give the illusion that you have more hair, more curls, and so they're not all clumped together. So we'll let this sit and we'll move on to the top section. I'll just kind of brush out my hair before I start. And then for the top section, I usually work from the back to the front. On the bottom section, I'll work front to back. It really doesn't matter. I just naturally always work from back to front when I curl the top section of my hair. Again, leaving out a little bit at the bottom, holding for 10, 15 seconds, whatever your little heart desires. Twisting it and then letting it fall. Another thing that I'll try and do, especially on the top sections, because these are the ones that you'll see more of the root, I'll start closer to the root and hold it. Then before I let go, I'll slowly drag it out to kind of straighten out that top part. And these will have more of a wave than a curl. And then once I brush out my hair, I'll go back and recurl some pieces. So don't worry if they're not like super curly because you can always go back and fix those pieces. And then also if you see, like if you let go of a piece and you feel like you want a little bit more of a curl, you can go to the bottom where you let that piece out and just wrap it around for a few seconds. And then let go. And then when it comes to the front, my bangs, I will just curl the bottom. I won't get as close to the root as I do for the other pieces just because I don't want to look like Shirley Temple. I'll just give it a nice little wave. Okay, this is what this section looks like now. I will kind of run my fingers through the top and kind of tussle it, but I'm still not gonna brush my hair out until the end. So we will move on to the next side and then once I have both sides done, then I'll brush them out. So moving on, 
I'm gonna fast forward through this section because you just watched this whole side of my head and then we will come back once everything is done and kind of talk about the next step. Okay, we're back and we have done both sides of the hair. This side, I feel like the bottom part is a little bit curlier than I'd like. So I'm gonna show you guys how I fix that. Naturally, I feel like the right side of my head always gets curlier. I don't know why. I think because I'm left-handed, I have more control over the left side when I curl it than I do the right side because it's like so foreign for me. But Anyways, so now that I've done this side, you can see that this side has already fallen a little bit. I mean, it's still curly, but we're going to brush it out now. And you see that it just gives these like nice waves. And then we'll go ahead and brush out this side as well. And you can see it, like I said, these pieces underneath, I don't want them to necessarily be straight. I want them to lay a little bit more flat than they are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my straightener. But first, I think I'm going to, like I said, kind of add a few more curls in some places. Okay, so I turned my flat iron on and it is on 300 degrees. This side I'm pretty happy with. I don't think I'm gonna do much straightening to this side, but this side I am just going to take, especially these pieces underneath, I'm just going to take my flat iron and kind of run over it, mainly the ends, and just kind of flatten that out. And then I'll take my brush, brush it through, and when I straighten it, I'll kind of give it a curve. That way it still has some volume at the bottom. It's not just like bored straight. And here is what it looks like now. I naturally always like take these like top pieces, tuck it behind my ear and I'll still have some pieces hanging, but um, just to kind of help this side lay how I want it because like I said, I feel like just I don't have enough control over the right side of my head being left-handed when I curl it. So this will help kind of form it how I want it to lay. This is like my everyday hair curling routine and then it will um, fall a little bit and it will really give it that like natural wave. All right, and that is it for today's video. I hope that this was helpful in some way. Let me know down below um, if you have any questions, what other products I use. I'll have everything linked in the description box down below if you're interested. 
and yeah give this video a thumbs up if you like it if you want to see more hair tutorials things like that also before you leave if you haven't already and you think you want to stick around go ahead and click that red subscribe button and the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos i would appreciate it so so much i love you guys and i will see you in the next video